Hello everyone, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program 2 Early Access. In the previous video, I left my plane stricken on the surface of Lathe, but we are going to pick it up from the save and hope that restarting the game will help. I'm not sure. And we're going to have to make sure independent throttle is off again and cut the throttle and try to land again. But maybe this will change things, maybe it won't. I'll try something. I mean, we aren't lowering the landing gear at super high speeds. They are coming out sort of weird like this. And even the restart hasn't changed that. There's always the F5, F9 option if it turns out that this doesn't work. Where I do F5 and F9, I have no idea. Should I, like, not touch down on the right landing gear? It always seemed to be the right landing gear that got busted. But it got busted at really low speeds while we were slowing down. So, that was suspicious. Okay. There it goes again. Okay, maybe I shouldn't use the brake so much. I'm going to figure this out. It seems like it has to do with the brakes. Does anything go wrong with any of the other stuff? This seems fine. Well, these guys are sitting on the ground anyway. Is all their landing gear okay? Apparently not. So, it seems like... Well, they just lost all their landing gear, I think. Their main gear got lost. Hmm. The landing gear is spontaneously exploding. <laughs> uh, what can I say? I think the landing gear is spontaneously exploding. Okay... So like, why don't I land further away? I mean, it's an idea. Let me just land further away from them, not in render range, and then we'll taxi over. Maybe we'll switch to them first or something. Let me just stay away from them. And I'll sort of come in this way. Well, maybe using the planes as base modules will not be workable in the future. We'll have to try something else. Rovers? But then when they touch down they're going to be seriously in pain. Um, unless the jet engines are vertical on touchdown, we could do that. We could have them be horizontal and then the whole thing tilt vertical. Maybe with the use of parachutes. So what they do <laughs> is they cruise along like an airplane until they get to the location and then pop the parachutes and then land. And then they'd be landing on the rover wheels. I think that's a workable solution. The key thing is that because the re-entry is such that it is not so accurate, um, I can't really hit the spot with something that doesn't have jets on. We need jets on and, you know, the ability to turn our course. Maybe the trim is the problem? Let me zero out the trim. Oh, th at that, well, I didn't mean to zero out the engines too. I did have a lot of trim. I don't think that should cause a problem, but... One benefit to this is I won't necessarily have to use the brakes. Since we're going to want to get over there. Uh, come on, pull up more. Uh, it's a little bit hard. Ooh, okay, we just outright crashed there. They're a little bit sensitive. They're a little bit sensitive, I feel like. Same ploy, different execution. I'll keep the trim this time. I felt that landing was better with the trim. It's really a reasonably controlled aircraft. 
at these altitudes, that weird rolling thing notwithstanding, it's, it's pretty good right now. That would consider it fairly easy to land with. Game. <laughs> if only the game agreed with me. Really slowly. Uh, that's too hard though. Maybe too slowly, I couldn't pull up enough. Hmm. We need to land more solidly on the main landing gear. I mean, one problem is we're trying to land sort of along these ridges, and that seems like a thing that the game does not want you to do. Maybe I should come in this way, but I don't think we're far enough to be safe. We'll still be probably under power when we enter the range there, or having quite a lot of speed. Uh, uh, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Yeah, we're probably too close still. Got the tr crashing trajectory thing. It's never a good sign. Uh, it's nosing down more. I don't think we can F5 in the atmosphere. It doesn't seem to do the autosave. I'm gonna try splashing down. I don't know. It has the benefit of not using the landing gear. And this sort of looks like a boat, right? Right? Can this be a boat? It's pretty empty right now, right? There's a lot of hydrogen tanks that are just empty right now. And it's got the wings. It's got a lot going for it as far as buoyancy is concerned, that's all I'm saying. It's really fast. Uh, we lost the docking port. I think Neil Dunn's in that part. No, Neil Dunn is in here? Maybe. But our control unit's over there, isn't it? Yeah, it is. But, viable solution potentially, if we don't lose the nose. I couldn't throttle up to check where the jet engines could push us onto the shore though. We can try and hit the water a little bit faster maybe, so that we don't nose into it. We still lose the nose. Um... Maybe... Maybe you can get the Kerbal out, and... I don't think the Kerbal can command from one of these things, though. It's sort of clipped into the body right now. Yeah. It's sort of clipped into the body in a weird way. Okay. Let go. Extend part. Okay. <laughs> you know. Oop. Grab. Oh, uh, can we? Yeah, okay. Uh, keep going up. Okay, um, yes, right. Board. Okay. Can I control it now? No, it doesn't have a control core like this. I got some science though. Well, in theory. No vessel control. Okay. I feel like opening the cargo bay probably won't help, but... Gotta try something different, right? Okay, trying to come down lightly. And not on the nose. It still broke off the nose. Uh, okay. So, water strategy, not so good. Not, uh, if we had the controller in the back, it'd be fine. Or on the top, it'd be fine. 
but we have the controller on the nose, so it's not fine. Okay, different plan. I'm gonna try to land in a different location, but along the dunes. Not against them. Okay. Yep, we're landing like this this time. Ah, it's nosing down again. Oh. Oop, okay. Brakes. Oh. That's worked better, but uh, what about the right landing gear going off right at the end? Let's start turning and not do so much braking. Maybe using the brakes too much hurts the landing gear and we have to turn over there anyway. But maybe when we get into render range of that stuff, the landing gear will collapse again. Or if I try to come to a complete stop, the landing gear could collapse again. It's tough to tell which condition the landing gear is going to fail with. Oh, so it's tough to rev up the jet engines again when we're at a complete stop. I don't know, maybe I can save game right now. I'm maintaining some thrust. Oh, oh, the landing gear went. The landing gear went just there. Right after I saved game. So, <laughs> you know what happens if I retract landing gear right now? Okay, I've retracted landing gear. You can't explode it this way. See? Taps head knowingly. You can't explode the landing gear if there's no landing gear. Okay, letting the jets rev up. Well, this one's revving up anyway. We are not, however, moving. And that's probably because I tr tried to retract the landing gear like that. But you know what? This is still intact right now. And so that's a plus. Ah, that one didn't throttle up. Let's see, if I have them at low throttle, will they both go? Okay, yeah. Uh, because we're not moving. I think the landing gear is caught. Okay, well, since the landing gear is caught, I've got to leave this here. Let me go to the rest of the base, the other two space planes, and see how they're doing and whether they still have wheels or not. Observer can't leave active vessel. Uh-oh. Now, let me try again. Oh, okay. Now it works. Okay, we did retract the nose gear, and they have their remaining gear. Though that's th Those are pretty dug in right now. So they haven't lost theirs yet. Are you broken? It doesn't say anything about being broken. You know, to try and time warp. Let me try and retract. Okay, extend. Okay, so we've landed it, but it can't move. I think we're just going to have to accept that for now. And maybe at some other time, the wheels will let it move. But for now, we're going to just park it here. It arrived uh, with a lot of difficulty. And we're going to have to figure out how to get it over there. Maybe when I turn to it next, it'll be able to move. But let's focus on the sphere and dock it to our station. Okay, this has a maneuver to do in 26 days, so we will do that. I should have painted the sphere green so that I could pretend to be Jewel sometimes. That's no Jewel, it's a space station. It wouldn't make for the best Jewel imitation, but anyway. Okay. 
let's see. Oh, we're crashing into it. Well, you know, that's a good sign. So the station is there. Pretty close, a little bit off in inclination. Ah, that's a little way. All right, but that'll be fine for now. So yeah, I I think I'm pretty much done with trying the full-on airplane approach with the landing gear. I think we're going to use a combination of plane plus parachutes and just para-drop in for the landing. Up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, the power's going a little bit low. And then we'll use rover wheels, which don't super duper work. We could use the regular landing gear after we para drop. Maybe we should send one of each. One with rover wheels, one with uh, regular landing gear, and see which one rows better on lathe. Of course, with the landing gear, we wouldn't have the landing gear extended until we finish. But then, well, we get stuck again, just like the plane is right now. But then the rover wheels also get stuck and seem to not work sometimes and it's sort of random and they suddenly start working again so i don't know but yeah if we have landing here of course we'll use the jets to push us but we will have the jets anyway because we have to be able to locate ourselves into the right position first and then use the parachutes to drop in the goal is just not to have to do a full-on landing Even though the landings should work and technically do work much of the time, um, not clearly foolproof. Oh well, we might as well correct our inclination there. It's nice not to have to actually use Leif's atmosphere to slow down. Okay, retro burn time. Go. Okay, all right. Well, we're nowhere close to where we were supposed to be. Um, let's just fix that a little bit. Well, Apple Apps Burn doesn't seem to change that too much, I guess. A radial thing? Is it a radial thing? 500 meters per second to burn off though, and we don't burn very slowly. I mean, we don't burn very quickly. So, we'll have to watch out for that. Okay, we're set up for our encounter. Now, in order to match speeds 515 meters per second, when should I start? Well, we might as well plot something. See, now we don't want the burn extending all the way over there. But this will be radial, so... Let's be cautious. That seems to keep us fairly close. We can work with that. Okay, well that seems like a fine idea overall. So we'll get to it over there with 136 because so, this burn is way long 447 meters per second with just the two of the nerve engines we'll need to take our time I mean relative to the curvature of our orbit it's a long burn so we will go with this yeah uh, go Go. I'm just doing this as plotted, but we're getting close to the end where I should probably stop. Okay, let's see. Oh well, that, that distance is not too bad. We didn't do all of the burn. As you can see, we still got some up there. We need to burn off another 138, it seems. Okay. Engage. Okay, we'll let it approach more. Really need to remember to get a lighting platform on the station though. 
Okay, coming up alongside. I think I want to be on the opposite side though, this side. So, another CS on. Uh, maybe, oh, I didn't have them turned off for pitch yawn roll. Hopefully that gets duplicated. Control from here. I guess I could turn down the docking acquiring for acquire force that's on there for more realisms and not smashing the station at all. Let's go for 30%, I don't know. Okay, big cumbersome module coming in. Not great on the angle, but not terrible. <laughs> Where have I heard that before? So the panels pretty lined up. We're we're definitely not like good for real solar system here. Uh, I wouldn't do this, but or realism overhaul. Uh, maybe stock. Oh, it connected way before I thought we were going to connect. Okay. Um, <laughs> that was quick. Oh, I forgot all about the samples. Ah, I needed a sample return mission because we've got samples on here that we haven't gotten back. And we need that science. Gosh darn it. Okay, but we docked this. Let's get a good look at it here. Okay, so this is our life station currently. It has not exploded into a million pieces or something like that, all going out of system at warp speed. There's apparently an experiment going on. We do have Kerbals on board. Theocot and Ferber. I don't know if they can transmit good uh, orbital surveys. Running needs shallows. Shallows? I guess, uh, I guess that's one of the surface biomes. And they're waiting for shallows. Probably a rare thing, shallows. I don't know. Then again, there seem to be a lot of shallow locations. Unless we were trying to land on one just recently. But anyway, we delivered a bunch of hydrogen here that something can use. What we will have to find out later. But yes, this is what it looks like right now. And success? Our space plane is definitely not docked to the rest of the base, but at least it's on the surface after much struggling. We will see what we can do with that. Maybe we can move it over there eventually. Maybe after a restart its wheels will start working and then we can use the jet engines to move it along. Uh, but for now it is currently stuck. And we will see what kind of strategies we can use to move it or land something else near the base and then also get the science back. I have to remember that. So with that, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.